we're already sizzling here in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen uh, with one of our favorites. Uh, rooftop 120, been around uh, for a, a long time in Glastonbury. You just got to look up and you'll find it. One of the yes. highest restaurants. I think we can say <laughs> around. But Nosh 120 has all, always been a part of it, and that's the food part. Shut it down a couple years ago because of that little pandemic that we had. It's back. Speaking of back, uh, Xavier Santiago is with us because we know him. We love him. He's uh, the world's biggest uh, Red Sox fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's for good luck. Yeah we're, de yeah, we're delighted to have you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> thank you. Thank Tapas. you. Tapas. This, uh, yes. this is not new to you, but this is a, a great way to, to kind of just experiment and showcase everything you want, right? Different kind of foods. So I think the issue with tapas is people think it's often like Spanish food. Yes. And tapas is a way of eating, right? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much like different kind of foods so you could try different items. Often you go to a restaurant, you sit down, you have an entree, and you're sitting down with your, your guests and you focus on eating And you're entree. committed to that piece exactly. of steak. But not, you, not the case. You're not like, you know, talking and sharing and exploring. Right. Like, so and today... Then, and we're doing a little shrimp. You say it because I can't. So it's gambas al ajillo. Right, exactly well, it is a fancy, off the tongue. It's a fancy way of saying garlic shrimp, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, why not call it garlic right. shrimp? No, no, I have to make Jeez. it. I have to make it exotic. Chef X, come on. So, All right. We did give you guys the recipe. Yes, but of course. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Good shrimp, good garlic, good olive oil, and um, that's pretty much it. Good salt. So it makes a difference. A, a, if, a if, you're, if you're buying that, that, that cheap old shrimp, you're gonna it, you're gonna taste it. And I love this because the garlic that you have, you you peel. That you've done it yourself. Yes, yes. You could use a chop stuff, and I admittedly I do that when I'm lazy, but that makes a difference. No, we call this we call this good fella garlic. Why? Very thin. Very thin. Very thin makes a difference. All right. There you go. All right. So uh -huh. then we're gonna ask the key of peppers. These are Spanish peppers. Uh huh. Uh, they're comfy, so they're cooked in olive oil, mm -hmm. but they have like a sweet, almost like a spicy flavor to it. Okay. And then we add some pimentón. Pimentón, again, is a Spanish paprika. Yeah, but then, smoke, smoke paprika. Smoky, but this one's like uh -huh. smoky and sweet. I know my paprika. Right? Ah, I know it, my way it. around a paprika. <laughs> So, this is one of our most popular tapas, right? Yeah. Obviously, we have a lot more things going on. Yeah, we'll get to that. It, 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 let's actually yeah. let's talk about it now because again, you said you got about thirty dishes on the menu. Yes. They're all small. You come in with with one person, or come in by yourself if you're like me, no friends. Uh, come <laughs> in with friends, and then you just get a whole bunch of different stuff. And try uh, we're going to show you. We got uh, the, uh, a couple of them are, are tried and true favorites on tapas yes, menu. Yes, yes. Shishito peppers. Um, you've got what looks like a, squ a squash dish. Am I right? Yes, yeah, so it's a, a roasted squash. Shot. Go ahead. Yeah. We got different kind of roasted squash. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, exotic mushrooms. I like so the trumpet, black trumpets. What, trumpet mushrooms. We got black trumpets, shiitakes, portobellos. Uh -huh. And then we have a street corn. Uh huh. All right, I'm just going to hold my hand over the. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> my my <laughs> arm's on here, right? fire here. <laughs> so I can show you the mushroom dishes. And this is, you said street corn. The street corn at corn. It's actually one of our uh -huh. like, favorite tapas right, right? now. What's in that? So that one has chorizo, uh -huh. uh, manchego cheese, right. has spicy aioli, pickled uh -huh. onions, right. and um, a little bit of caramelized onions. By the way, you notice what I was holding that and holding my tie so I don't turn this into <laughs> Thai a la whatever the hell and, uh, you yeah, call it, right? So now that we have... Plate it up. You see like the, the garlic is caramelized, uh -huh. the shrimp are smelling good. Right. You go it's right to the plate. Simple dish. Simple. And you can but put a couple color. microgreens on it too. Yes. So oh, the, no, me. the thing about micros, right, uh -huh. is they have to make sense. Like this really? particular this particular microgreen it uh -huh. has a little blossoms of um, um beet and cilantro. Uh-huh. So like it helps to bring the plate back. That's okay. I it's very interesting. I have these in my backyard. You know what we call them? Weeds. Weeds. <laughs> Uh, you can so, find uh, Chef X, as we love to call him. And by the way, you're doing a little, a little toast here? Yes. Little, so you always want to have a new nice toast of bread? Local stuff? No, no, this one's not local. No? This, this is not local. Okay. Oh, yet. Fine. Stop but it will be. But it will be. But it will uh, be. That's fine. <laughs> Big Y bread, whatever you want. And it's a great little thing to sop up all that delicious sauce. You can find Chef X. That's what we call them around here. Uh, over at, uh, it is not Rooftop 120. I mean, it's Rooftop 120, but the part of the food joint is Nosh, Nosh 120. 120. And that's, Nosh what, 120. that's what you're running, right? Exactly. And I love this because if you do, if you do the tapas thing, is this how you serve it with the little sticks? Yeah, so yeah. a lot of tapas come with the pinchos. Mm -hmm. So pretty much. It's, it's good because Rachel Piscatelli will tell you that we don't really do well with silverware around here. So oh. this is. <laughs> Perfect. This is just much easier. And again, like for example, mm -hmm. if, you, if you get the meat of our iberical mm -hmm. ham. Right. Oh, look at that. You get the board, you put your iberical ham, mm -hmm. you put some shrimp on top. Yeah. 
It's a good looking dish. Or, yeah. you, or you could do it like this. Just shove it in your, your pie hole. And just eat it. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> and you get the oil, it'll be perfect. He's got it all set. Look at this. Chef Xavier Santiago, nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to save some of this for the guys back in the studio. Let's go to them. Okay.